Okay, it's Friday night and I'm back again. Back again to do some more uh, tasting of whiskey. I have here an interesting looking little sample called Titanic. This was given to me by Whiskey Jason, uh, also known as Whiskey aus der Sicht eines Americanas, uh, who lives in Germany. And uh, he um, kind of specializes in Irish whiskey and bourbons, but mostly Irish whiskey. And so he, I met him in Glasgow in, on a recent trip to Scotland. Come to think of it, that's almost a month ago now. Uh, time goes really fast. Anyway, he gave me 20 samples. And this is one of them. It's called Titanic. And he's got the German mixed up. It, it's Fünf Jahre Irish whiskey, 40% uh, uh, WB, which would be uh, uh, ABV. Oh, no. 40% ABV. And WB would be whiskey base 35014. That's sort of a whiskey database that they have in Germany. I've never looked at it myself, but apparently it's a website. Anyway, I'm going to try this stuff now. It was uh, made either at Cooley or at the new uh, Belfast Distillery. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to taste this. It's a blend. Oh, I just knocked over a blend, Karen, and didn't break it, so that, that's a good thing. Let's get some of this poured before... I spill it all over the place. The bottle makes the right noises. We've got 50 milliliters. We put the bottle sideways to get the last few drops out of it. And here we are. Five-year-old Titanic at 40%. 40% is usually a good place to start for the night. So that's where I'm starting. I'm going to be going into some very heavy uh, high ABV whiskey uh, coming up later this evening. My mouth is kind of dry, so I'm going to get it. some water in there. And the legs come running down, but they, they're there momentarily. Right away, I'm getting that characteristic Irish whiskey, unmalted barley note, along with the malted barley note. You can you can tell that this can't be anything but Irish whiskey just from that particular unmalted barley note. It's kind of uh, kind of grainy and kind of um, Kind of, kind of grainy. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to really describe it, but it has that sort of a part vanilla, part. It almost smells like rye, but it's not rye. It's like rye, but a little more sour than rye. If that makes any sense. What's that Irish whiskey? And this is still quite young smelling as well. Touch metallic. But I'm going to give it a taste. What do I get besides the graininess and the uh, the more sour version of rye? I'm getting grass, like like hay, like a like a field. There's a field with bales of hay. That's what I'm reminded of. 
in a field with bales of hay just sitting there. Interestingly enough, I'm getting a bit of a dill note, which I suppose is what makes the unmalted barley a little similar to rye. Hay and dill. Let's add the rest of it. This is a pleasant nose. I'm thinking of, you know, fields with hay. Yeah, I'm getting some vanilla too. Caramel, maybe a tad. I'm guessing this is uh, aged in ex bourbon. Just going by the color. Five years. Ex bourbon, five years. Who knows what else it was aged in? But it definitely has a very agreeable nose. With the vanilla and the hay and the slightly graininess, the uh, slightly sourness. And yes, dill. And that's about all I'm going to get out of the nose. Let's see what it tastes like. Or let's taste what it tastes like. Mmm. There is quite a bit going on here. The first thing I got was a chocolate note, like a chocolate mousse. And then there is big flavor here. That first burst of chocolate is giving me, oh, First burst of chocolate, then fruits, and now it seems to be a maraschino cherry note. Very interesting. Good one, Jason. Take a sip of water and try this again. The nose is decidedly more chocolatey now than I that I've had a mouth uh, a sip. Chocolatey and cereal cereal note. That cereal is no doubt from the unmalted barley. But now yes, chocolate and cereal. A little bit of that. A hint of dill now, not as prevalent as it was, but yeah, cereal, chocolate. Mm. Mm. A little bit minty. A little more chocolatey. Now it's getting a bit more malty. Mmm. Mmm. This is very big flavor for 40%. 
much more than I was expecting. And big flavor also for five years. Oh, I wish I had a full bottle of this. This is nice. I don't know what the distribution of this was, but I've never seen it in the store. But if I ever see this, I think I'm going to buy a bottle. Because this sample is outstanding. Very, very nice Irish whiskey. Mm. Mm. Let's coat the whole tongue, the whole inside of the mouth. What started out as chocolate now is once again a note of maraschino cherry. And it finishes, it's like a medium finish, and I'm still getting that tingling on the sides of the tongue. And that faint and fading taste of maraschino cherry. Mm. This is great. This is a great whiskey. Thanks again, whiskey aus der Sicht eines Americanas. Jason, I salute you and to your good health. Food quick. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>